Hello and uh, good morning to everyone. I hope you're all uh, staying safe at home. Uh, welcome to today's webinar uh, about on what's new normal for educators, a story of how 80 teachers from Vidya Mandir Estancia are teaching 850 plus students through Zoho classes. My name is Sarsh and I'll be your co-host for the day. Um, I'm working with uh, Zoho classes and I'm really excited to be hosting this session for the day. I'm pleased to introduce uh, today's speaker, Mrs. Maheshwari Natarajan, Principal of uh, Vidya Mandir Estancia. Mr. Devan, Director of Product Management here at Zoho Corporation, and Mr. Nevis Peter, Head of Customer Engagement. So without any further ado, I'd like to welcome our principal, Mrs. Maheshwari Natarajan. Um, over to you, ma'am. Good morning to all of you. A very, very warm welcome to all of you. And at the outset, I would like to thank her for starting off the session. Um, I'm really excited to be addressing a lot of my friends. I can see many of my friends here. And some of those of you I haven't met before. Uh, I'm excited to be addressing you on this new concept that we tried out. And it has really given us a good hand at a time when, you know, mentally we were down. As a school, we were down that we had to uh, shut our systems uh, at the end of uh, uh, classes on March uh, 21st. Just like that. We had to literally drop everything and come out, as I'm sure all of you would have done. And uh, some exams were not done, some uh, revisions were not done, some board exams were not done. And we all left, I think for once in our lives, we would have been reluctant to leave the school and uh, go home. Um, so on the way back, and you know, it's a long drive for me on the way back, I kept thinking how I can rectify this or change this scenario. And uh, finally, um, uh, I hit upon this idea of uh, talking to Mr. Devanan, who is the product manager of uh, Zoho. Um, see, he has been approaching me for quite some time and uh, saying that there is this online uh, portal which he would like to try out with our school. And always, you know, we are always rushed for work, syllabus completion, paper correction, attending this seminar, that conference, whatever. And we just didn't find time. So this uh, uh, period, I thought, let's use make use of to do this. And before I brought in my staff on this, I wanted to you know, have a hands-on feeling of what it is. So on May 21st night, I called Devanan and said, I'm ready to work on it. 22nd morning, the two of us started working on this. He, he literally handled me through all the processes. And uh, I must admit that I'm not a very uh, tech, uh, savvy person like my daughters call me technologically challenged none like most of us and uh, some of us many of us and uh, so we said we'll work on it he held my hands literally through every aspect of it and 22nd and 23rd of march that was a weekend saturday and sunday we sat through it maybe right through up to beyond 12 31 and when I was satisfied that, okay, this will work with my teachers and with my children, it's not going to give them a, a feeling of reluctance that they will be able to cope with the demands of this uh, portal. I, uh, I started broadcasting lessons to my 11th going to 12th psychology batch. So I brought them in on board. Uh, these uh, they, We have about uh, nine students. And I brought them in on board uh, along with my co-teacher, Didi, and uh, uh, we gave them recorded lessons. And uh, you, you won't believe the, uh, uh, you know, the eagerness with which they grabbed. By then, they had already been, uh, they were wondering whether there's going to be school or not. And when they, when this came about, they literally grabbed it. And I, I can assure you, they pushed me into working harder than I've ever worked. So those two days, I prepared lots of new lessons. And the psychology group, uh, uh, which uh, I'm a part of, they unknowingly helped me by posting uh, PowerPoints and uh, reference lessons and all of it. So I must thank that group uh, for helping me out unknowingly. And uh, then we posted lessons. Then we posted assignments. The assignments were handwritten and reposted onto the portal. Dedi corrected them for me. I must tell you that Dedi is sitting in Shillong. She had to leave immediately on a family urgency. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, the lockdown happened after that. And so she's uh, monitoring uh, the psychology classes from Shillong. So the two of us, we managed to do the corrections. And by the end of the week, I had uh, given a test 
for them. We have corrected it and taken down the marks as the first test for academic year 20. Then I said, OK, now that this is working out, let me call in my admin staff. So we called in our vice principals and uh, our uh, uh, principal uh, designate. As you know, I'm retiring this year. So Shankri Ravi is taking over. So we called them in and we gave. Uh, they were trained for three, four days along with the Zoho team. Uh, there were four or five uh, of the uh, team members from Zoho who were you know, exclusively uh, uh, training at uh, our teams. And then by March uh, 26, 27th, we decided that it's worth it. And, you know, we are a very democratic setup at uh, Vidya Mandir Estancia. And they all said, yeah, we are happy to go ahead. I was waiting for that. And then we called in all the staff. We divided them into uh, sections. And every section had to cover their staff. And rigorous training happened for two days. After two days, that is by 27th or so, they started producing their own lessons. Mind you, overnight, on a weekend, they produced some 400 plus uploads. And on um, April 2nd, we decided to go. Uh, what you're seeing on screen is my uh, first assignment on the neurons, though the assignment was created by Devanand. Uh, the, um, the children have uh, answered the questions on the right which you see under the feed details and the assignment six assignments were submitted at that point there were a couple of them who did not have access to um, an android phone or a pc or something they were in grandmother's house or something like that and it took us a couple of days to inform them that the classes are started so that is why you see a lesser number there and then the uh, on april 2nd these are the assignments which we had uh, corrected and uh, sent back uh, we have taken the marks as internals for uh, the month of April. And uh, on April 2nd, we officially started, uh, okay, this is our, uh, all the VPs and the teachers taking training and giving lessons. Uh, you can see it under each teacher's uh, name. There are feeds and, uh, uh, and of course, the whole thing was free, which made it all the more interesting. Okay, then on April 2nd, we opened the... Um, we opened up the school, official academic year 2021. Uh, I sang the school prayer because I'm quite sentimental about it. We sang the prayer and the whole uh, lot watched and uh, whoever was there at home. The session was done for the whole of class 11 and class 12. That is, uh, sorry, not 11. 11 going to 12. And uh, they had a couple of lessons that day. They had a physics lesson, a psychology lesson and a, a biology lesson. Uh, because uh, the three of us were ready with our matter. So we had that lesson. And uh, then we moved on to a proper timetable. The vice principals devised a proper timetable and said they would do about three hours of online teaching and learning. And in the meanwhile, the app was getting modified as per our requirements. And uh, soon we introduced uh, live lessons. A live lesson. Uh, till then, only I had gone live with my welcome speech on uh, the beginning of the at the beginning of the year. So we went on to the live lessons, and uh, uh, so that's how the whole process started, right? Now, during the process, the kind of uh, uh, shall I uh, term it as achievements? Honestly, I never thought that a bunch of individuals who are so used to a tech savvy school, who are so used to the blackboards and the smart boards and coming on time and going on time and you know sticking to uh, those 40 minute periods and doing substitutions, you know how uh, our schools run. But here we were at home in different parts of uh, Chennai, uh, some of us in Kanchipuram, some of us in Chengalpur district and uh, one outside uh, in Shillong. And here we were sitting together with totally unprepared for this kind of uh, um, lockdown, right? Maybe if I'd been prepared, I would have brought my materials home, I would have brought my textbooks home, I would have maybe um, uh, also brought the list of teachers, uh, uh, their email IDs and their uh, stuff. The only good thing that I did was I brought my school computer home, which I think some of us also did. We uh, envisaged this and uh, we started sitting at home and with whatever material we had by way of uh, um, hardware, that is, uh, it could be uh, the most basic Android phone to the most, uh, the latest uh, Apple iPhone. 
it could be a pc it could be an ipad any of these we just downloaded the zoho class and started working on it and not only that this was as far as the hardware went as far as our mind where went our mindset towards working online our uh, our, our abilities as far as uh, creating lessons or creating content i can uh, definitely assure you that many of us were not trained for it i have never given a training workshop in all these uh, 12 years to my teachers on creating content content creation was done only on the smart board and we would do it and we would give it to each other and say oh is this good is that bad and uh, can we modify it kind of stuff but this kind of content creation i must tell you that these uh, staff from zoho really helped us out and now i think we have about uh, uh, more than about 500 and odd lessons uh, which is and if, if you would like to see some of them you please do ping me on my mobile i would i wouldn't mind uh, sending it to you or if you download the app you'll be able to see it so there we were all of us we have uploaded our lesson we started taking class according to schedule so then we started when the next day we induced uh, then sunday the uh, 9th 8th now we are doing it uh, up to class uh, once you kg we were sending some say worksheets kind once a week with drawing and all that so this we did for about 15 days and then we introduced the pt teacher and we said let the pt teacher come in and start giving uh, some kind of fitness exercises because the children are uh, quite uh, you know restless sitting at home so we started sending that uh, fortunately for us our uh, um, our sports partner fit kids Uh, started giving us videos on yoga and uh, exercises which families can do together sometimes the parents uh, can join in and uh, so this happened and then after a couple of days we said why pt why not arts also and then the arts teacher started giving in small little diys on crafts and small little uh, uh, what shall i say drawing assignments so to say and he would demonstrate drawing in the um in the app and the children would follow and I, i must tell you this got us a very good feedback because the parents were very happy it it started removing that concept of uh, the minute i switch on the P, uh, pc i'm going to get lessons now they have an arts class and they have a pt class also and what more did they want that was wonderful uh, feedback which we got from the parents and i must tell you that uh, in all of this there was a concerted effort on the part of the parents also through the pta to uh, help us out and you know uh, ironing out all the kinks in this uh, process definitely there were issues with login definitely there were issues with people not knowing where to go and what to do and uh, that was uh, something which uh, it was mind boggling it just sh- showed us that as a school we can come together uh, come what may in the in d- during times of uh, difficulty here you can see one teacher with her little daughter's uh, whiteboard Uh, there was another teacher who used the um, cupboard in his bedroom as the blackboard it's a fantastic uh, that's baskar there see he is used to, he he said ma'am we have nothing else behind and then he called up shankari and asked her can i uh, use the uh, cupboard in my bedroom and she said yeah why not as far as you are able to come across with your concepts it shouldn't matter what you are using that was really really ingenious i can tell you and it, it in fact uh, we stood up and clapped for him in our own homes this is something which i never expected this kind of uh, you know uh, sharing which and it was done with total involvement so so that's how now we have started running the classes on a full scale and yesterday we closed our online classes for a holiday period of 20 days we are restarting on may 25th this period we are planning to use to um what should i say i not any king some uh, some people are s- still saying that we are here but the children are in their grandmother's house they don't have uh, a pc there they don't have a computer there so we are trying to see what we can do but uh, the uh, advantage of this uh, zoho classes which we found was it is accessible through uh, a cell phone or through a pc or through an ipad and um, so the there is a plethora of uh, hardware which is available in the market and available in our homes also 
very few, I would say even uh, something less, about 2% of our population, of our student population, are not able to access it. Otherwise, almost all of them are there. And uh, now we are formulating on what we can do to ask these uh, children to, uh, you know, catch up on the work. And I, I have been assured that these lessons will be there for them to come back and revise at a later stage just before a test. So this, I can tell you, is an advantage. If a child is absent and uh, um, uh, the teacher is unable to take those little bit of extra classes during the lunch or, or after school or something, they can just go back uh, go back to their app and you know access the lesson and listen to it. So we are planning to continue with this even after the lockdown is lifted. I don't know when that's going to happen. It's a big question mark. So we are planning to continue with our sessions. When we come back on March 25th, we have a whole new set of uh, uh, lessons which uh, we would like to uh, do with them. Uh, one is uh, we revised all the basic concepts uh, of uh, the previous class like we normally do in the first week of April. And then we started our new classes and uh, we are ready with one test mark, one test given and done. And so we I have not lost anything because of the lockdown. We are on par with our syllabus, what was created and what was done. We have kept ourselves on in tandem with the whole thing. And now we are getting ready with hopefully better stuff for the uh, coming academic year. So I must tell you that uh, more than anything, this uh, session, this uh, one month of uh, uh, doing classes through Zoho app has given us the confidence once again that we can live up to the philosophy of our school. Our school is Sahaviriyam Karava Vahe. The philosophy of our school is Sahaviriyam Karava Vahe. That is, may the student and the teacher learn together. Literally, we have learned together during this one month. And I hope the learning continues. So welcome again, once again, to this. I just thought I'll briefly tell you my story before you go on to the actual uh, webinar. Uh, so I hand over the mic to Devanand, who is the director, product management. And I would like to thank him for festering me to take this up. Thank you so much. Over to you, Dev. Yes, ma'am. So, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, I'm Dave, uh, uh, Director of Product Management at Zoho and uh, also the creator of this uh, Classes app. Um, on behalf of Zoho, I wish to extend a very warm welcome to all the correspondents, principals, vice principals, and teachers here. We also believe we have uh, participation from government officials. Uh, Zoho is uh, deeply um, 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 connected with the government initiatives. We are supporting all the uh, government schools through Zoho classes. In fact, uh, Zoho classes is free for all the government schools. And uh, I wish to take this opportunity to thank uh, the early adapters, uh, Vidya Mandir, uh, uh, especially Maheshwari ma'am, Shankari ma'am, and all the AT teachers. Uh, we started very small, like uh, seven, uh, eight students, like ma'am said. But today we have uh, 30 classes, uh, 850 plus students. And uh, so far we have sent around 2,000 plus uh, different notes uh, shared with the students and we have also received around 700 800 assignments which are taken as uh, assignments for evaluation attendance all that and on top of that we have produced anywhere between the 400 to 500 different courses right, you know, video courses uh, this whole uh, experience was so amazing that we actually went about and uh, created a blog about it and we made a video uh, thanking all the teachers looking at all the efforts they are putting in um uh, taking care of their family their uh, needs and then on top of that they were also uploading courses uh, late into the night right three to three o'clock in the morning some of the courses were getting uploaded so it was wonderful to watch them thank you uh Vidya and the staff for doing this and i would also like to take this opportunity to thank some of the other schools that we are working now for example uh omega international uh senior principal bhavani shankar is helping us we are trying to onboard around five thousand students there and uh, we are also working with SRM volume, my SRM, um, um, Senjo, um, um, JPR University, KLE University, 
grace international colors international in the last two days alone we have received more than 200 uh, sign ups for the app from different schools in india and the total number of students is crossing around 80000 See, we clearly understand you know, the kind of uh, pressure that is on uh, the schools. Okay, um, when we started April, um, we were worrying how to evaluate the um, answer sheets of uh, 10 million students who cleared uh, Standard 12. Right? Even before we could come out of that shock, uh, government has mandated that uh, courses should be taken online. Right. And uh, I was talking to uh, one of the school principals, and uh, she was telling that. okay we are thinking about uh, bringing our teachers alone to the school after the lockdowns are lifted and uh, maybe uh, put each teacher in one classroom and then make them uh, record the session and send it to the students so when we hang up the phone and we get back uh, doing other stuff we get a message saying government is taking over the schools for uh, corona prevention activities right which is very important but now the infrastructure is gone totally and uh, the lockdown has been extended and india as a country is very very young it, we are uh, very new to the concept of uh, internet based learning right it is not like uh, usa where uh, we have laptops for kids and uh, most of the kids have their own rooms right in india both these things are uh, luxury not every kid has a laptop and we don't have a, a specific place for a kid to learn right so we are uh, highly densely populated country but uh, one good news about india is that we have the second largest uh, number of smartphones in the world currently we have 500 million smartphones and it is growing towards 700 million next year so think of it for 1.3 billion people if 700 million have phones which means in every household with a mother father and a kid there is at least one phone right so if we have a medium where you could support laptops as well as phones we can continue education for like ma'am said in vidya mandir it is 98% for the rest of the india it could be at least 90% right we can reach out to every nook and corner of uh, india and we have the world's cheapest mobile internet which is covering everything right so we are now uh, purchasing groceries uh, products through mobile apps and we also have uh, witness that movies are getting released in mobile platforms first right so the whole landscape is uh, changing um, one question which i had in mind right now is what happens after the uh, covid ends right so what happens after covid this question i think uh, most of you should be having in your minds because uh, the lockdown will definitely be lifted god willing we will come back to our schools we will hear the bells ring we will have kids in the classroom right all that will happen and zoho will continue to support you in whatever way we could but i think there will be a deeper change in the whole ecosystem right it is not going to be normal i i thought see three different changes one is classes will be recorded and delivered digitally right so currently we have face to face teaching which is 100% right uh, the most of the time and energy of our teachers are spent in teaching or covering the syllabus like what we call it right? covering the syllabus is what uh, pushes us towards uh, running daily right? 40 minutes class we have to cover everything now imagine there is a way we could pre deliver a course digitally or we could pre deliver a message digitally it would be much more easier right even if you could reduce face to face teaching from 100% to say 70% right that 30% free time the teachers could do amazing work i'll i'll take an example like we have a, a 12th standard uh, subject called electrostatics in chapter 3 is uh, um, electric flux i saw that electric flux uh, video was recorded by shankari ma'am and she has already circulated i'm taking an example in a typical world uh, how would we go about teaching that electric flux to students right we will have the uh, teacher come in at monday at 10 o'clock and then it will start like good morning children today we are going to learn about electric flux and we'll start with the teacher drawing a surface on the blackboard and say that um, electric flux is the amount of energy that flows through any surface and the quantity is measured by the amount of electric force 
uh, multiplied by the area of the surface. So you have an area vector and an electric vector. So you you don't multiply, you dot the two vectors. So it is uh, E vector dotted by A vector is your electric flux, right? In this 40 minutes, if the student is not attentive, she misses the whole point, right? Now we have to cover the syllabus, but you don't have any other time to pre-fill the student's mind before that. Imagine in a world where we can pre-fill the student's mind like this, like Friday, uh, the teacher sends a message like this. Dear children, uh, take this assignment, just learn about the word flux, okay? And come up with any example of flux or any example of a word called inflex in your day-to-day -day newspapers or something and submit the assignment, right? Now, the, the kid will go and ask his father or somebody like, what is inflex, right? We, I, and the teacher will attach some examples also. For example, I have attached a, a butterfly net and also a news from uh, media which says there is a massive influx of migrants from all over India to Bihar. Or you could post that there is a massive outflux of uh, people from Delhi to other parts. So this influx, flux, they should understand this concept of what is a flex. Right? Flex is something where you cross a surface. If we pre-fill their minds and then you come to the uh, school on Monday morning, right? Now, how will the class start? The class will start with something like, okay, children, uh, I saw all your assignments and uh, I saw that uh, somebody posted about uh, mosquito net, right? Uh, so many mosquitoes crossing the mosquito bats at a given point of time is uh, an example of flex. And the amount of uh, Pepsi you put into your mouth is an example of flex because it's just the uh, quantity of water getting in is directly proportional to how wide you open your mouth. That could be laughter, fun in the class, right? We could bring about a huge amount of change and then you tell, okay, you saw about different versions of flux. Today we are going to learn about electric flux. Electric flux is just electrical uh, field crossing over a surface, right? And then you teach what you have to teach and then tell them why it is important, where and all it is uh, applicable, whether it is an alternator or a generator, everywhere there is flux, even in our brain, the electric signals produce electric flux. Now, do you realize that the whole uh, level of engagement between a teacher and the student has completely changed, right? So this is what uh, people like LMES or other uh, the beautiful course creators are trying to do, right? I appreciate what uh, LMES has done. I hope most of you know this. Let's make it very simple. I appreciate what Raymond is doing. The biggest uh, reason why they are able to do that is they don't run schools, right? So if they have to cover 100 syllabuses at a given point of time amidst lockdown, all this, they won't have to uh, have time to create fun courses. Now there is a possibility that using technology, we can also try that, right? So I, I see that schools will be recording. And they will be digitally distributing and taking some time off the teacher, which is very important. And the second example is, see today the schools are categorized as premium school or not so premium school based on physical characteristics, like uh, where the school is located. Is it in Adayar? Okay, it should be a good school. Is it in Annanagar? Is it in Madipakam? So based on where you are located, uh, we attach some parameters or quality parameters to it. And then we look at the physical buildings, the swanky building, air conditioned room, all that. In the next five years, schools will be differentiated based on the kind of courses they come up with. Parents are going to look at a course and say that this looks like Stanford University course. This looks like Oxford University course. This looks like internationally uh, acclaimed uh, university course. It looks beautiful. And don't get me wrong, it's not that we cannot produce it. I have witnessed it myself in Vidya Mandir with nothing in their hands, they came up with beautiful courses which are almost on par with some of these uh, courses that I see in the online education system, right? One ma'am called Vandana Shivaram, she, she came out with a course, uh, ma'am praised us a lot. I think we don't deserve to be praised that much. We just enabled it. All the credit goes to the teachers. Suddenly one teacher produced a video with all the animations for uh, networking and all. So we were shocked. I called her and said, uh, what is this, ma'am? How did you produce all this? It was her own uh, son who was uh, part of the member, obviously. Now imagine if schools can actually have a small studio that teachers can come in on a Saturday or a Sunday and can record themselves, right? And if they have to take off on a Monday or something, the courses can be filled instead of the teacher. And even if a substitute teacher comes in, the quality will not suffer. Right, and even if a student is taking some time off, they could always uh, go back 
and refresh the courses digitally. So going forward, I believe all the schools will have one small room called the studio room where courses will be prepared and uh, sent. And the third important uh, point is course sharing can happen. Uh, Mayeshudu ma'am told me that uh, they send their course material prepared in Vidya Mandir by their staff to all some rural uh, districts where there is a shortage of quality teachers. See, we are in cities and we are blessed that we can get uh, an accounts teacher or a computer teacher uh, and we can fill a position in a day or two. But in rural places, it is not the case, right? So now, Vidya Mandir is sharing their course. There are some NGOs who are sharing their course. LMS is trying to fill that in. Imagine we have a facility in our product where all the Vidya Mandir courses, right? They can take a course and then make it as public. If they make it as public, all the courses will go to any of the schools that have uh, taken the app, right? This will be amazing. Look at the kind of social change that we can bring in. Look at the way we can uplift all the rural students to a higher level of uh, quality education. And on top of that, if you want, you can actually price that course as like, say, if we put 50 rupees for a, a use of Baskar's uh, Halo, uh, Alkane and Halo Arrange, right? We put 50 rupees for that course. And if 10,000 people buy the course, your school makes five lakh rupees, right? Even if you forget all the financial part, the sharing as a concept, right? It can help a long way uh, and can go a long way and help a lot of students. So these are the three things I foresee that it will happen in the future. I might be wrong, but I strongly believe that uh, we have the technological platform uh, for any of the schools, colleges, universities um, to play around with this and take them to the next level. Okay? So thank you once again. Uh, we will move on to a, a demo of what we have done in Vidya Mandir. And after that, you can have your uh, question and answer session. Thank you so much, Dave. Uh, yeah. And next, uh, we have uh, Nevis Peter with us, who will be the head of uh, customer engagement, who's, who will be briefing you about Zoho classes, and it's working. Over to you, Nevis. Thank you, Harsh, and thank you, Dave. So good morning, everyone. I'm Nevis Peter. I'm heading the customer engagement part of Zoho classes. We are extremely excited to showcase the app now. And uh, let me real quick. Uh, walk you through the web version of Zoho classes. So that's going to be the web, the web version, what you find on the screen. So you can find the list of all tabs uh, to start with, it's going to be the classes. So within the classes tab, you can define all the list of classes and to each class, you can associate a student. So once I get into the uh, a specific class, I would be able to find out the list of all students to this particular class. In our case, it's 12A. And follow by classes uh, and get into the students tab. So, so this is going to be uh, this is going to be a space for you to create a student manually, or you can import them from a spreadsheet. So all the students gets created within Zoho classes along with their name, with their class, and their contact number, and also on top of it with their parents' detail. And uh, so this is going to be the students. And in order to invite a student. To, um, your organization Zoho classes account you can send invitation right from this window maybe if you randomly get into a student you can find an option there which say which would be earlier send port to invitation once they accept that's going to be the preference so let's get into the courses so this courses is going to be the space where all the courses have been uploaded by any admin or a teacher so this helps the, so this is definitely going to reflect on the app so that uh, any student can play a course and uh, listen to a course with better clarity. In case they don't get a proper clarity, they can play back the same video and uh, check out a course and uh, submit the appropriate assignment. So now let's get into the mobile app. So just give me a moment, let me switch to the mobile app. So that's going to be the mobile app. So once any administrator, let me show it. All right, so that's going to be the homepage of uh, Vidya Mandir Estancia. So this is going to be the admin login. So on the admin login, you can find the list of feeds. Feeds are going to be your post, maybe kind of any announcements, or you can pass any circulars. And on top of 
class, you can also publish assignments to a specific class. So the students get notified. So let me real quick show you an um, assignment. All right, so this is going to be an assignment um, made by Maheshwari ma'am. So that's going to be a PDF format. So what happens once an assignment is created by a teacher, that's going to alert the students and they can check this PDF and revert back with their response. So in this case, uh, you can find right at the bottom, which says submitted as seven. So seven students have submitted this assignment. And once I click on submitter, I would be able to find out the list of students who submitted or revert this assignment. So let me click on the submitted now. So that's going to be the list view page of these students. So I'm able to find these students has revert back the uh, assignment. Maybe in case I want to find out the PDF they are submitted, I can click it right here. So this is going to be the students submission. Yeah, so that's going to be the one. So this is going to be an assignment and an assignment can be you can view the assignment right from the app or you can download or you can publish uh, or share the assignment since it's already a PDF. So that's going to be the assignment part. Great. So not just an assignment, maybe yes, you can also make any kind of acknowledgement or voting. We do have different category of fields. One among them is an assignment. So moving on next, it's going to be the courses. So courses are something as uh, they was explaining earlier, that's going to be a video. So any teacher can tape a video and upload it as a course. So now you can find this is a video. It's a math class uh, for class five. So a teacher has used her whiteboard and she has taped a video and uploaded on top of Zoho classes. So once this video is uploaded, any, any student can check the video in case they don't get a better clarity. They can play back and listen, listen to the video. And once the video portion is completed, so that's going to be the video of the teacher. So once this chapter is completed, a teach, and the same teacher can create a new assignment and associate to this particular course. So any student ha who has checked out this course can revert back to the assignment. So that's going to be the ground for any teacher or an admin to upload videos so that's going to be all about courses and this is going to be the account page so what uh, i would uh, urge you is uh, please go to zoho.com forward slash classes and uh, we would urge you to sign up for a new account maybe you can find us hash uh, vme webinar so that uh, i can get in hold of you guys so moving on next is the student login so this is going to be so to give you an experience of how a student student views the uh, post and everything maybe i can show you right away so once i log in i'm on the page of my class so now we have logged in as a as a student so this is going to be a list view page a student can be part of different institutes maybe a academic school and followed by a, it can be a a music class or a dance class. So whenever they log in, we would display all the schools. And uh, you get into Vidya Mandir. This student is a part of 12th A. So he can find there's a new assignment and find an option there called Submit Assignment. So once the student clicks on Submit Assignment, the person would be able to submit a PDF or a picture. So this is a quick uh, walkthrough on the student, session, student login portion. So that's all the feeds that's been feats or announcements made by the school school and the teachers so a student can submit uh, the assignment right from here so the on the right top corner you can find attachment so as an attachment they can either um, take a picture of the handwritten assignment and revert back to the assignment which would eventually notify the teacher so to any assignment, there is a due date. So whenever you're creating a new assignment, the administrator or a teacher can define a due date. So before this time window, the assignments need to be submitted back. And now we are on the courses page. So to this particular class, that's 12A, uh, these are the list of courses, which is uh, accessible by the 12A student. 
maybe they can play a video and they can listen to a class right from here and in case they don't get a better clarity they can play back the video again so that's going to be the courses tab so over here you can find so that's the video so this is going to be the one which they've mentioned um, this chemistry faculty is using his wardrobe and uh, conveying the topic Great. So that's going to be about the student login as well as the administrator login. So in case uh, any student do have challenges or want to get in hold of the administrator of the school, we offer a provision for for a teach. Uh, I'm sorry, for a student to get in hold of the institution on a chat so a chat window is also available so that a student can interact so in case um, the person is having any doubt on electrostatics maybe they can come into this window and initiate a chat which is eventually going to alert the respective teacher and the teacher can respond to the chat so for now the communication is going to be two ways only on top of the chat so so that's the assignment portion and uh, so if in case you guys have any challenges you're free to reach me anytime so you can make a note of my number so that's my contact number and i'll drop you my email address even you can get in hold of me on an email as well so what i would urge you again is please go to zoho.com forward slash classes and uh, yeah, submit a request access with the uh, with the reference as hash BME webinar so that uh, I can get in hold of you and we can discuss more on Zoho classes. So if in case you guys have any uh, questions, maybe you can come up with now. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, that was an in-depth review of Zoho yeah. classes. I hope uh, all of you are uh, clear now with what your schools can achieve through Zoho classes. So right now we'll move on to the uh, question and answer session now. Um, I'll just go through a few uh, questions. I'll read out a few questions and then I think Nevis, can you answer them uh, so that everybody can hear? Yeah, I'll take the Google Classroom question. Ah. All right, all right, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, so, um, can you read out the question, Hush? Yeah, sure, sure, just check. I think Raj. Okay, so Radhamani uh, asked this question. How different is this from Google Classrooms? Okay, so uh, Google Classroom, um, it is in a very ad hoc manner, right? A maths teacher can create one Google Classroom for his own math students and then can start sharing. The problem is it becomes like a bacteria, it grows automatically. The school has no control over what is being sent and what is being received. So when we start uh, uh, demonstrating Zoho classes to different schools, a teacher came in and gave us this uh, example. So in their school, she is actually handling uh, one particular subject for her own students through Google Classroom. Problem is, the school has no idea what's happening, right? So when you take products like Zoom or Google Classroom or uh, uh, type or different different tools the problem is it will not follow this uh, physical structure of a school there is no school getting created there are no classes getting created the principal or the correspondent they don't have control over what is being sent what if a student is actually acting very harsh what if a teacher is acting very harsh with the student in one of the classrooms we don't know in google uh, in zoho classes we have all the records we would know what is being sent you know what course is being sent and that kind of control is completely missing. I would say Google Classroom, maybe tuition centers, small teachers doing on their own, it is good for them, but not for uh, physical organized uh, schools and colleges. All right, thank you, Dave. Um, and another question from Vishal Dutt. Um, can we make sure that recordings of our classes will not be downloaded in the phone, student's phone offline? So that's his question. He wants to make sure that the uh, courses are not downloaded in uh, students phone okay so we can disable the download option okay um, but mostly people will not download because it is better they stream the video 
that way they don't use the phone's uh, storage because some of the videos produced by video number itself is 1 gb right so if somebody downloads 300 400 courses there is no space so the question of somebody downloading um, i'm not sure how to uh, answer it correctly but the streaming is better for them thank you dev um, and another question from madhu uh, what level of student participation is available as compared to zoom uh see in products like zoom uh, the, the philosophy itself is putting the student in front of a teacher is the goal of zoom right in zoho classes we are taking a slowly a slightly relaxed approach where you send a course today you follow it uh, with an assignment maybe a week later right give the child some time to study and make sure he learns right products like zoom they help you participate by uh putting the student in front of the teacher but that is not the idea behind learning right teaching and learning are totally different so currently the participation in zoho classes is that a student could consume all the material right in terms of videos pdfs uh, all the documents right you can consume everything and you can submit your assignment that is where uh, the participation in simju in classes um another question from karan uh, he has asked if the school can customize the url mobile app and student portal to showcase their own brand uh when they log in they will see the school name as uh, vidya mandir or arun premji foundation or srm valiamai or uh, uh, any of the other schools that have registered dav psbb uh, janus like they have at least 30 different schools uh, joining this presentation now their names will be visible yeah, we are not focusing on the omega we are not focusing on customizing the ui we don't do a project uh, this is not like a project it's like taking an account with the zoho so very minimal customization option but you can show a world of difference once people log in right they know they see your teacher's face they see the principal's face all that is there right thank you dave and uh, sri gayatri would like to know if this is something if this application can be used on a web as well yes we do have a web ui what we showed you is the administrator's web ui where you saw all the classes getting created and other, other stuff we also have the ui for teachers and students uh, for this release we are focusing mainly on the mobile front of that and uh, student ui will be coming up in the due course right now we have a basic ui which students can use to continue the courses thank you dev um, so renju uh, would like to know how many uh, students can attend in a live class in at a time uh, it's uh, up to 10000 students we are supporting right now uh, because the problem in live class versus zoom kind of a, a model is that the two way interaction uh, is uh, limited uh, technically to only say up to 20 people two way and if it is like a one way audio video it can handle up to uh, 10000 people for example it will be more like a television where you stream your courses and then take the questions through the chat uh, to the chat interface that i showed uh, some time back right so maximum of 10000 is what we are looking at now thank you dev so the next question all right uh, it is from niti Uh, why are you not focusing on online session why only recorded session if we have to uh, do live classes i think zoho can accommodate it that is what nidhi is asking we have live classes right uh, we already have live classes so yeah. teachers can do that thank you dev uh, um, may i uh, may i answer that question yes ma'am uh, uh, nidhi uh live classes uh, to to give live classes uh, all teachers need to have that uh, superb confidence of delivery so at this point because we are brand new uh, they would like to record it and maybe erase uh, portions which are not uh, up to the mark what they feel that way i think once a teacher is very confident i think we can just go live and deliver our lectures like we would do in a classroom right so thank you thank you ma'am it's a valid answer Yeah. because uh, we, are, we are suddenly asking everybody to be extremely confident and uh, take on internet in front of so, the camera yeah it will happen slowly <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, so Gayatri has asked this question. Uh, how are the students' assignments turned in? Do they scan and send? Yeah. So there are no scanners available now in all the homes. So mobile phones help us in taking uh, pictures of their uh, uh, school notebooks. Right? They write in the school notebooks, take a picture and upload. That is enough for now. All right. I think uh, that is all the questions that we have for today. Um, so if you guys have any questions, can you please uh, send it through the QA session? Uh, Dave, there is one question about security and bandwidth speed by Joseph right. Raj. Uh, do you take that? Yeah, by Joseph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ma'am. So security-wise, uh, the product is completely built on Zoho. Uh, there are no third party involved. So now all your uh, data is stored in Zoho data centers. And we adhere to the global security standards as well as privacy standards, um, GDPR, and all the privacy rules available in the world. We adhere to that. So you have the highest level of security guaranteed. Bandwidth, uh, the app works in, uh, even with minimal bandwidth. So we have tested it live with 850 students, uh, students uh, who are in their uh, native places, in fathers, uh, farmers, and also they are able to submit uh, courses daily. We still get uh, ass assignments getting submitted. So it should not be an issue. Uh, the only limiting criteria could be it might not work in uh, anything lesser than Android 6 or something, which is uh, the old class Motorola phones or a small screen. Anything less than 5 inch screen, there might be an issue. But uh, uh, we couldn't help uh, with that. Anything other than that, we are uh, safe and good. Thank you, Dave. Um, another question. Can exams be conducted through Zoho? I missed the important point here. Uh, the All the Zoho products which cater to educational uh, industry, right? All that we are bringing in one by one into Zoho classes. So today's session was about how Vidya Mandir handles. So we haven't spoken about it. We have, we'll have a separate session on how a Zoho Showtime, which is a, 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 a trainer um, material uh, creator tool, right? The teacher can show their face and then talk, do a whiteboard writing, and then send it to the students. So we are integrating that product. And we also have products uh, uh, called uh, Zoho Writer, Zoho Sheet, and Zoho Show, where students, can, students and teachers can produce documents, beautiful Excel sheets, beautiful uh, presentations, all that we're integrating one by one. So all that will come in the future. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Madhuram has asked an important question. So his question is, uh, will there be a common domain given for students? Uh, or if they use personalized ID, will that lead to any security issue? I didn't, what is a common domain? I think uh, he's asking like if a student will be given a common ID or uh, something. So that uh, his student details are not shared through the application to other students. No, see, if we give a common ID, it will be shared. So what we do now is we have an invite based model. Nobody can join your school on their own. So the school administrator, for example, in Vidya Mandir, we have a ma'am called Kesi ma'am. Uh, she is uh, the one who stood uh, with us in uh, importing all the students, handling all the questions. So she's the CRM administrator there. So likewise, in your school, if you have a CRM administrator, they will send out invites specifically to students. And that invite will be based on your email ID. And you should receive that email, click that you accept to the conditions, and then you join. Only this way, we can prevent anybody from joining, and we can maintain that your data is visible only to your login. So each one has a separate login now. Um, all right, Dave. Um, he has continued his question. Uh, so his question is, so for instance, if I have a student Akash and his roll number is 1, can that be created in the DBS Akash uh, at gmail.com? That is what my query is. That is what it's asking. No, we have to have Akash. We have to ask Akash what is his email ID and then we add it. Um, am I answering him correctly? I don't know if I got him correctly. Is he asking from a parent perspective or from a school perspective? Well, I think... Uh... I'm not quite sure as well. All right, so we'll move on to the next question. Okay, um, okay this is from vertexpacksvina at gmail.com. How to correct the scanned copy of answers? Is there any special option in the Zoho app? No, I was reading Akash question, so I one second. Okay. So um, for instance, if I have a student Akash, which means he's a school, okay, and his role number is one, can that be created in the DBS Akash 112a at gmail.com? 
no no akash1 tolle@gmail.com he should already have it could be akash or it could be his father's email id we don't have a problem with that we don't uh, auto generate logins it's not like uh, there are some other application maybe he has experience with other applications where you put a number for example you put devanand roll number 1706 it will automatically create devanand 1706 as a login number even in vidya mandir we had a different uh, product where you can actually log in with the like how banks and all do right you, you log in with your account number we don't have it it's invitation based and it is different email id because this product is built on zoho crm uh, which is being used by millions of uh, companies worldwide and the same level of security wanted to bring in so it will work in the same fashion only we don't have built anything new on top of that all right uh, so uh, the next question dave how to correct the scan copy of the answers is there any special option in zoho app okay car see right now what we have done is we have provided a mechanism to send and receive assignments all the assignments are available with us it will be available in the uh, web ui for the teachers as well we are working on adding a evaluation module where you can pick one module uh, pick one assignment and say 80% or 90% or you can grade it as a b or c when that feature comes in all the 700 assignments can be graded right right now they are doing it with pen and paper we'll digitize one segment at a time and uh, slowly we'll have all the modules it is coming all right uh, thank you dev and uh, another question from radha mani what is the payment details uh, this product also allows you to collect fees from your students it also allows you to collect uh, sell your uh, merchandise for example uniforms uh, shoes books and all if you have to collect payments we wanted uh, to eliminate all the petty cash that is running around in the schools right so if vidya mandir tomorrow wants to um, put up the uniforms right i i really miss seeing the new uniform man we've been waiting for a long time so so if we have to pay for the uniform now there is no way you have to go stand in the queue instead we can all pay from the app so all these payment other modules will take up after covid for covid we are focusing only on distributing the content making its uh, learning uh, continue after that you can use the other modules it's actually a very big product uh, you will like it there are so many modules to it oh no no thank you dev student has not student the, the app is completely free for the student i don't i think radha mani meant what is the cost of the app how much they have to pay to get this app No, ma'am. They saw payment history on the tab, and then we showed uh, the tab. So they saw payment history. So I think that question is about that. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway. Another question from John Manimaran, which is uh, about uh, the student has to pay to use this app. The answer is no. The app is free. Only the schools will pay. Oh. And uh, Nidhi has asked this question there for the app. What does the school need to pay? Ah, okay. The the app is free. for government school which i already mentioned the app is completely free for schools up to 100 students so if you are a smaller school or if you want to test for 100 students it is completely free beyond that it is uh, 250 rupees per year per student that's roughly 20 rupees per student per month that is the uh, cost that we are asking for the product correct thank you dev and uh, just one more question uh, from uh, nitesh i think will zoho share the modules among the schools no not without your consent not without your permission by default it is a very secure organization wide app if vidya mandir takes the app everything that is sent received will be within vidya mandir's account we have separate crm accounts for each uh, school we are not putting everything in one database even right so that way if uh, adr st michaels wants to move to zoho classes they can do with full confidence that every data that is stored is only visible to them only if they want if they want and if they go and edit the courses page and say okay i want to make this course as public only then it will go outside right uh, so uh, the uh, next question is yeah go ahead ma'am sorry No, there are a couple of hands raised also maybe we should ask them what they want <clears throat> it's there are a couple of hands raised I, in the uh, window yeah people who have raised hands can now uh, actually type the questions if they want oh, that's uh, it.
Sudev, um, there is another question. So is it necessary to have a speed internet facility? I have students from first generation and remote villages. Mm -hmm. The students don't have the facility of a fast internet and system. In that case, how to cope up with this? A uh, very valid question because this was bothering us a lot. Um, so we have actually devised the product in such a way that it can handle in minimum uh, bandwidth. Uh, some of us are blessed. We have 30 Mbps, 40 Mbps internet. But when you go to remote places, uh, it drops down to 1 Mbps or something. We have seen the app work in 1 Mbps speeds, like 3G speeds, not even 4G speeds. Uh, even for some of our uh, staff who are in their hometown. And also for the uh, Vidya Mandir psychology ma'am who is in Shillong, she also had some bandwidth issues, and uh, but the product works fine. So my answer to you, JVS49, uh, please test it out. Take the 100 user free, uh, give it to some people, uh, give it a try. So our guarantee is it will work. Thank you, Dave. The next question is from uh, Nidhi uh, again. Uh, what all MS Office plugin is supported? Uh, can we also upload Google Doc and Slides? Uh, Ma'am, we are actually competitors to both these companies. We might not uh, provide uh, integration with them because we have the full stack of products. Uh, that is VA to 12, 6 to 12. We appended the question with something. So we might not uh, integrate with uh, MS and Google because we have Zoho Docs, which uh, has all the capabilities of these products. So we'll be only integrating with Zoho uh, Show, Zoho Writer, Zoho Sheets, other products. Please take a look at Zoho products also. Uh, thank you, Dave. So Hema, Hema Malini, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. We can use only for limited classes. For example, we, we can have for high school, that is to uh, uh, 6 to 12th. Is that possible? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. Ma'am, you want to go ahead? Yeah. Yeah, we started, uh, Hema, we started uh, only for 12th and then we worked only up to 6th for some time. Then consciously when the primary parents started demanding for it is when we brought it down. Uh, so I suppose you can do it. There's no uh, rhyme or reason why you shouldn't. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Uh, so mm -hmm. Joseph uh, has asked this question, uh, Dave. Uh, anyone have uh, joined the online class which is received through mail or particular mail only allowed? to attend the meeting. Okay. So I think he's asking uh, if uh, any students can join the class or only through an invite, uh, can a student join the class? Yes. Invite only. Okay. Only through invite. Thank you. And, uh, right. Um, Pratik has asked this question. Does Zoho app provide two-way communication through video between teacher and student? Uh, right now, no. Uh, we are trying not to. Because we hear stories about uh, uh, from our own US employees, their kids subjected to Zoom for three weeks. They get mentally stressed out. Right? Three weeks or for one teacher, it is one class. But for uh, five teachers, right? You the kids are spending hours in front of a laptop, and it has become very stressful. So our philosophy is we don't want to push it that much. We'll take it slowly. Uh, so we we might not have a face-to-face -face option. And we also hear from um, SRM College, uh, uh, Dr. Muttamal Chalwan, Dr. Muttamal Chalwan, with whom we are working. They tried it in SRM, but uh, this two-way audio video is kind of a nuisance because if one doorbell rings in one student's home, right, the whole class is getting affected. So they are trying to do away with this two-way thing. Two-way thing is good when you have five students right, and you know them very well. And it is uh, not working when you have... Uh, children beyond a particular age. It's not uh, working out. Right. So and the next question is, um, is it possible to, to see the lessons taught by other subject teachers by uh, other teacher of the same school? Ma'am, you want to answer that? Yes, I definitely would like to answer that. In fact, uh, we have been enjoying each other's lessons so much that uh, uh, we keep saying, oh my God, we have to teach so much. Oh my God, these children have to learn so much. And uh, somebody says, no, I learned this part of economics. Somebody else said, oh ma'am, your psychology lecture was awesome. So we are able to see each other's uh, lessons. And in fact, we are enjoying it so much. And I can tell you that uh, those teachers who are uh, parent teachers in my school are having the best of both worlds. 
know, they are able to go and view their child's lesson and go back and explain something uh, later on or, you know, when they are revising or something, we are having a better deal out of it. Definitely, it's possible to see lectures of other teachers. We have a WhatsApp group where we have uh, Vidya Mandir teachers and some of Zoho employees. And this thing, what ma'am said, came up. So even teachers started learning something new from other teachers because now they are able to see how the courses are coming up and it feels so good. Thank you, Dave. Uh, so Anita has asked another question. Is it possible to conduct staff meetings through Zoho? which is totally outside of Zoho classes, right? So yeah, we have products where you can do face-to-face -face meetings, like uh, the tool that I'm using right now, right? All four of us are able to talk to you. Actually, we can turn on a two-way video audio here where you can have staff meeting. Ma'am is aware of that. Uh, it's called Zoho meeting. You can use that for uh, teacher interactions. Yeah, we just finished one meeting a couple of days ago. You can use it. It works very well. Um, Thank you. Okay, so Radhamani, yes, ma'am, has asked uh, a question. It's about the control we have in Google Classrooms. Her question is, uh, okay, all hits are all hits, including the correspondents, are members of all classes. Uh, they are checking the work. Okay, could you please elaborate this question, Radhamani, ma'am? Uh, because uh, maybe you could uh, unmute her so that she can ask a question. Is it possible? Oh. Okay, so our idea about Google Classroom is from the teachers who use it and share with us. Uh, the best way to go forward is you can take Zo Zoho classes now, compare it and decide and also tell us because that way it is much more easier. We come from this world and if you have experience in uh, Google Classroom, we'll be very much happy to actually set it up and hear it from you. We can do that offline. Mm -hmm. At all. all right, so uh, Nidhi, uh, ma'am, has asked another question. Uh, Zoho Meeting is a separate product. Do we need to subscribe for it or uh, it comes along with Zoho Classes? Uh, it is a separate product. So Zoho Classes is for education. Uh, Zoho Meeting is for business. So we have two different verticals. Uh, one is the education space, another is the business space. Uh, this is the business product. So you will have uh, the conferencing capabilities, ability to dial in from any country through a phone bridge, um, ability to uh, record the session, um, run polls and all, right? So all this is, that is built from a business perspective for small teams to get together and talk to each other. Uh, and this is totally different. Yeah, thank you, Dave. Um, JC has asked another question. Should I use Zoho classes for other educational purposes other than schools, like tuition center? Yes, we can use Zoho classes for dance schools, yoga classes and all that. We have customers in USA who are using Zoho classes for a thousand dancers, uh, like ballet dancers. Um, one of the schools where we have uh, showed the product, uh, the large schools that are actually into dance uh, teaching. But uh, because of COVID, we are now prioritizing uh, schools and we have uh, to set it up for everyone. So now we are opening up only for schools. Maybe after uh, three, four months, uh, anybody can sign up, including tuition centers. Everybody can use. Thank you, Dave. Uh, so, uh, do we have any more questions coming in? Um, yes. Can we use for some time to check the uh, viability before taking up finally? That's the question asked by Seema Sool. You can take the 100 user free edition, right? So you just take the 100 user free edition. We'll set it up for you. You can use it for 100 users, absolutely no issues. We'll support you throughout your uh, process. And if you're happy, you go for the full school. And that is why Nevis said, go to uh, zohoclasses.com and uh, zoho.com slash passes and uh, click on this request access button. You put your school name, college here. And somewhere here, you put uh, VME webinar. He'll know you are uh, already aware of uh, all this. So they'll cut the initial discussion and directly set up the school for you. You can do that. All right. Uh, thank you, Dave. Uh, 
Okay, Joseph uh, wanted to know this. Suppose if I sent the invite to xxx.gmail.com, shall I access the same from yyy.gmail.com? I think it's asking for student login. I don't know if you can do that. All right. I don't think it's a Zoho classes question. It's an email forwarding question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Unless xxx at gmail.com is forwarding to yy at gmail.com, you can't access it. Uh, is it mandatory that login of students for every class session or is it a one time login? One time login. I have logged in and yeah, yeah. yes, ma'am, go ahead. Sorry. It's a one time login. Login. I logged in into mm -hmm. uh, Zoho classes on March uh, 20, 22nd morning and it's still logged in. So anytime I want to see how many teachers have put up uh, lessons today, are they going according to the timetable, how many children have given assignments, I can just keep checking it. So the same goes for anybody, in, whether it's the child or the uh, teachers. It's a one-time login. All right, ma'am. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, does anyone have uh, any other questions? We can extend this uh, session up for another five minutes, maybe. Uh, or uh, if you want to conclude the session, we can. Uh, I have a request uh, for all the uh, uh, attendees today. Uh, there are a couple of links put up in this uh, question answer uh, board. So if you could uh, maybe access those links and uh, this is what the uh, press had to say about uh, this um, a couple of days ago when they uh, released this uh, app formally. And the app was released formally by Zoho. Uh, so you can, it, it answers quite a few of these questions that uh, we have been uh, asking and answering. Yeah, the links are there on the question and answer tab. Thank you. Right, thank you, ma'am. Um, okay, so uh, okay, we have uh, another two more questions from uh, Seema Sood. Uh, she wants to know if this can be uh, used for kindergarten with this application. Hundred percent, Seema. Our children love this. That little bit uh, you saw of uh, teaching alphabets was done through this. It can be used. You, we, we can do a, um, uh, a gross motor uh, skills through this. Uh, fine motor, definitely not possible, but we can do the gross motor skills through this. Uh, is it possible to show uh, Jacqueline's? Uh, yeah, this is the one. This is how we introduce der, der, uh, der words uh, for uh, UKG, uh, for LKG. So I would also like to add upon this uh, particular video uh, we showed this video in our manager's group and some of the parents actually wanted this for them because the kids were getting bored and uh, they thought this will be a good way because seeing their uh, teachers, favorite teachers in their mobile phones, uh, instead of just looking at YouTube and cartoons, they could actually, this is a fun-filled experience for them. Right? So they loved this video in particular. Uh, Thank you, there Dave. is a question there which I would like to take up. Uh, from Mr. Vishal Dattwadwa. This is about by any chance anyone from special schools here. Uh, so we have a special cell in our school and we have about 30 uh, children there and we have three trainers uh, who are special educators who are uh, dealing with them through the ZAP. They are logged in separately and they, uh, they do their regular uh, teaching through this app and it's been very good. In fact, I had a couple of stuff in my... Uh, I don't know if, we, if I can access it now to show you, but later on, maybe I could mail it to you. Uh, it's possible to address special children through this. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, uh, Deva, we have another comment from John. With the testimony and demo, I feel it's not only school-friendly or teacher-friendly or student-friendly, but it's education-friendly. Yeah. Kudos to the team. Any comments on this, Dave? Definitely. Yeah, it is definitely a game changer because we want this to help the entire society. So that is where the two years, two and a half years of R&D went in. So we have been working hard. In fact, I met Ma'am in September 2017. I told her I'm going to build a product for education. She said, go ahead, do what you want. We went in different directions, tried all this. So now we are happy that we are able to put up something. So yes, it's a, it's a, it's a very helpful tool. Thank you, Dave. Uh, so um, by this, we can uh, conclude this session, I guess, uh, if anybody has yeah, any questions. Yeah, may I add can... my uh, 
Uh, may yeah. I add my thank you to all my friends and colleagues who are here. And I know this is as exciting for you as it has been for us. I just say, give it a shot, have a look at it. And you can always uh, see every school has a different method or methodology of teaching and learning. And I'm sure these people will be able to customize it to our uh, uh, to our needs as much as possible. Right? So thank you so much for having attended the webinar. And thank you, Team Zoho, for all the help you've been giving us. Thank you, participants. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. Bye. I want to thank you all for attending today's webinar. We hope you enjoyed the presentation. Um, like I said before, you can drop in your email address on the QA section uh, for a copy of the webinar. Um, thank you again. Please uh, stay safe, all of you. Goodbye.